Video 1, Introduction to the Tech 400 Pro. This first video will help to get you familiar with the Tech 400 Pro and how it works. This video covers the following topics. What's in the box, tool layout and connections, tool power and charging, tool setup, accessing tool information, and updating the tool. So let's get started using the Tech 400 Pro. Inside the Tech 400 Pro storage case is everything you need to get started in TPMS Diagnostics and Service. The Tech 400 Pro kit includes the tool and a power supply and the OBD2 cable that connects to the Tech 400 Pro and to the vehicle's OBD2 port located under the dash and a USB cable plus user and quick start guides for reference. The Tech 400 Pro features a seven button layout with designated power and home buttons. The up and down buttons are used to navigate selections on the display. Selections are made using the enter button. Turn the tool on by pressing the power on off button. The same button is also used to power the tool off. Note, the Tech 400 Pro will turn off automatically if left idle for five minutes. To go back, use the escape or back button. Pressing the home button will always take you back to the home screen. The red test button located in the middle of the keypad is used to activate sensors when the tool screen prompts you to do so. There are many points in which to connect with the Tech 400 Pro. These connections are used for charging, updating, downloading information, accessories, and of course connecting to the vehicle. These connection points are at the top of the tool the SD card slot which has an SD card already installed. In order to fully function the SD card must remain in the tool. The mini USB port which is used for battery charging and downloading stored data. Right next to that is a full-sized USB accessory port and at the bottom end of the tool is the serial connector, which is where the OBD2 cable connects. When fully charged, the Tech 400 Pro will provide many hours of uninterrupted use. The best practice for the first charge is eight hours or overnight to ensure you have a complete and full charge. As you use the tool, you'll note that the battery level meter will begin to move from full to empty. If the battery meter begins to flash, it's important that you fully charge your tool right away. Using the tool in this state can lead to inconsistent results. To charge your tool, connect the provided power supply to the wall and connect the USB cable to the power supply and the tool. You will note that the meter will be flashing, indicating that charging is taking place. Let the tool charge until the battery meter indicates full. Now it's time to set up the Tech 400 Pro for the first time. The Tech 400 Pro has an onboard clock that needs to be set. This allows for accurate time stamping of your TPMS service. To configure the correct date and time, navigate to My Tool, then Settings, and then Date and Time. Using the up down arrow buttons and Enter button, configure the date and time. Once completed, press the test button to save the information. You can also configure the screen contrast and tool language if you prefer something other than the factory settings. Another unique feature on the Tech 400 Pro is the storing of important tool information right on the tool. Again, from the home menu, arrow down to My Tool and press the Enter button. Arrow down to Tool Info and press Enter. Here you'll find the current software version, tool build date, and tool serial number, as well as the language and coverage version. This information is always helpful during a tech support call. Other useful information is found in tool usage. Escape back to the My Tool screen, and then arrow to Usage, and press Enter. There you'll see a number of tool power cycles, sensor activations, and OBD relearns. The Tech 400 Pro is updated using an SD card. To update the tool, begin by removing the old SD card and installing the new SD card, taking care not to mix them up. From the home menu, scroll to My Tool, press the Enter button, 
and select Tool Update and then hit Enter. The update progress will be indicated on the display. Once complete, the tool will power off. Once powered on again, the tool is now updated and ready to use. By now, you should be comfortable with the tool's layout, the menu list, and how the tool flows. It's time to start using the tool. The next video is titled, The Basic Use of the Tech 400 Pro.